Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle, and I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite products at the moment. I'm going to be talking about a lot of makeup products. There will be a couple home products mixed in there. And I feel like with trying so much makeup, it takes a lot for products to stand out to me. So whenever I share favorites with you guys, I make sure to narrow down like my genuine, like best of the best products, not just products that are like, oh yeah, those are good, but you can kind of find them anywhere. No, I really take the time to just let you guys know what is truly the bomb.com. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, then definitely keep watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday and Friday when I upload. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I'm so active on there when I'm not posting on here. And while I'm wearing like, let's get into the video. So I'm not sure what video will go up first that I'm filming today, uh, but you guys, I chopped off all of my hair. Literally six inches gone. My hair was down to my hips before and now it's like right at my chest. She is a short haired gal. It feels so healthy. Like look at the shine on that. It's so liberating. I felt like before I was hiding behind my hair. And so now I just feel free. So the first favorite is my hairstylist, Janessa. You can check out her salon at J Beauty. Um, and if you're in the Connecticut area, I definitely recommend booking with her. She also does color. She is seriously the only person that I trust with my hair. So if you're in the Connecticut area, I definitely recommend booking with her. She does cut, styling, and color. For me, she did like a root touch up to hide my grays because I have so many grays. She also put toner in to kind of like tone down my highlights. Um, and yeah, she's great. So I'll leave her information down below. You should definitely check her out. And if you're in the area, definitely book with her. You won't regret it. I guess I'll start with my home favorites just because there's only two items. So first up, I'm going to talk about my water glass. <laughs> I have my little ribbed ridge cup that I got from Crate and Barrel. This is my favorite glass of all time. If Alex hands me my iced coffee or a drink or anything in another glass beside this, I'm like, why would you do such a thing to me? Why would you not give me my favorite glass? <laughs> I just think that they are so pretty. They look so sleek and just nice. And it just makes your iced coffee, your water, whatever you're drinking tastes so much better when it's in a cute glass. And these were only $7. I got two and I definitely want to purchase more. I feel like whenever I'm trying out new glassware, I always start with just two and then like if I really like it, I'll get more and if I don't care for it, I just leave it at two. This, I'm surprised I haven't talked about in a favorites video yet, Threshold Candle by Studio McGee. It's literally probably my favorite candle of all time. Masala Rose Scented has Lead Free Wix. It's a soy wax blend and you can burn it up to 30 hours. So I have the large version of this, which I literally completely finished. I also have two uh, small versions of this candle. The scent is amazing, but then not only that, the packaging is just so cute. I love the kind of like wooden top with the gold knob. And then again, the ridge detailing on the sides. And to be honest, what originally gravitated me toward the candle was the aesthetic of it. Cause I was like, once this finish is burning, I could use this jar to store like Q-tips or literally anything. It's just like a pretty jar to have. But the scent of it is the most beautiful, subtle, clean, floral, but warm and cozy set. I, this is my favorite candle to light up once I finish cleaning the whole house. I'll light this up and it's just like the most beautiful scent that just overtakes your entire living room. It's so calming and fresh, but again, still warm and cozy. I want this in a body spray. It smells amazing. Definitely recommend those. I hope that you can still find these at Target. I've been seeing them in the clearance section. So if they're in your clearance section, get them while you can. So I only have one hair item that I want to talk about today and it's my, my T3 one inch curling iron. I got this last year, but I've really been starting to appreciate it lately. What I love most about this curling iron is how long it'll hold the curl and it heats up super quick. I typically don't even need to put this to the full heat because it can get so hot. This is the best curling iron if you want long lasting, shiny, bouncy curls that will last you for literally days. This curls your hair so fast. I love this, especially for styling my curtain bang just because the width of the barrel is like perfect for that. It's amazing, definitely worth the price. And I believe they now sell these on Amazon, so even better, you can get it within a couple days. Okay, we'll get to makeup in a second, but I wanted to talk about a couple other. First up, I have my Mix Bar 
hair and body scent sprays. These are so good. A lot of body sprays tend to make me nauseous if they're too fruity, if they're too sweet, and if they just have that like cheap fragrance scent to them. These smell like expensive, luxurious perfumes, but in a body spray. And that's exactly what I was looking for because I like to layer my fragrance, my shower gel, I like to have a certain set, the lotion, I like to layer a certain set. And then I also like to layer the set in my hair and then my perfume. So that way I just all around smell good. And so I got these initially to use just on my hair, but I also love using these as my Gym spray is just something to quickly mist on my body. As I am sweating, I don't smell like complete BO. Who knows, it could smell terrible. It could be like BO mixed with this and it's awful, but in my head, it helps with that. <laughs> so these are just all around great if you're looking for a hair or body mist that's super affordable, that's not gonna smell super cheap and like too fruity. I got these from Target. I wanna say they're like thir eight or $13. I have these scents, Cloud Musk, which is one of my favorites. It's like a sweet, but with a hint of that must to just kind of like reel it in and just be very captivating. And then I also am obsessed with the Coconut Palm one. And you can tell I like, cause I'm already pretty much done. And this doesn't smell too coconut-y. This is a more sophisticated kind of coconut scent. To be honest, I can barely smell the coconut. It's just like a sweet, cozy scent. This is like my go-to gym spray and then hair mist. And I also have the scent Vanilla Bourbon, which smells exactly like described, Vanilla Bourbon. I typically like to mix this with like either Cloud Musk or the coconut one. If you haven't checked out the mix bar scents at Target, I definitely recommend them. And these are also good options if you can't afford a super expensive perfume and like to stick to your body mist. These are gonna be more sophisticated smelling body mist that will give you the same set as some more expensive perfumes. They're not gonna last as long because they're body mist, but you'll at least get a similar effect. You'll just have to keep touching up a little bit more with them. And then also the reason I like to use these as hair mist and not my perfume is because perfumes tend to dry out the hair a lot. Body mists are more diluted, so you can't spray it in the hair without drying out your hair too much. All right, my next favorite is my City Beauty Multi Action Sculpting Cream. I think I mentioned this in a couple previous videos. This is my favorite cream to use at night. This truly tightens and just firms your skin. It's super thick and rich. As you can see, like I turned the bottle upside down, it's not going anywhere. Literally, it was like a few weeks ago, even Alex was like, why is your skin so tight? Why don't you have wrinkles yet? And I'm like, it's thanks to this, I'm telling you. I feel like as soon as I put on all my night creams, this like just instantly tightens and firms my skin. I have been absolutely loving it. And also, after I talked about this in one of my previous videos, City Beauty reached out to me and they offered you guys a 15% off discount code. If you use the code Janelle15, you can get 15% off this amazing cream right here. If you use my link to purchase the product, it is an affiliate link, so I will get a commission. They didn't offer me that affiliate link until I talked about how I already love this product. That's when they reached out to me with all that. So I thought that that was really cool for you guys. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention about this cream is that I only like to use this at night. I have found that if I use this during the day underneath of my makeup, there are some primers that I can't layer on top of this because it'll start to pill, which is why I only like to use it at night. But as a night cream, it's phenomenal and then kind of tying into skincare and firm and tight skin i've been obsessed with gua sha's lately i don't know what took me long to try this but these make such a difference honestly just massaging your face in general makes a difference but these just make it so much easier so i'll like run this along my jawline i'll run it along my cheekbones i'll put it on my forehead like this and basically what this does is it massages the muscles to relax it so that they're not staying super tense and creating wrinkles and all that on your face. And now that I'm 26, I'm trying to do everything I can to just keep my skin as healthy as possible. I'm fine with aging and getting wrinkles, but it's like, you wanna make sure you're still taking care of it. And I feel like this is just that. Like these two together are amazing. And I just got mine from Amazon. It was like five or six bucks. In this video, I have a good amount of high-end makeup that I'm gonna be talking about. However, if you're new to my channel, I typically use so much drugstore makeup. I've just been recently like discovering new high-end makeup. For every high-end product I talk about, I'm gonna mention previous drugstore favorites that I also really love. Um, just because I truly believe that like good makeup is good makeup. There's products that I love just as much from the drugstore as I do high-end. Favorite is my Lancome Absolute Powder. I'm not even gonna lie, they are expired. <laughs> but I was cleaning out my makeup and there was a bunch of products I was like, let me try again before I get rid of them or toss them. I did that with these and I am so happy that I did because these are 
the best powders ever. So I have the shade Absolute Accru Light, which is the tone that I use to set my whole face. This powder will literally smooth out any pores or imperfection. It will set your face without drying it out and making it look too heavy. I actually used to work for Lancome and this was a powder that we would always recommend for more mature skin clients or clients with very dry skin. The powder literally, I'm gonna show you guys, it just melts right in and it almost has like a buttery feel to it. Like it almost feels damp. I can't even describe the texture, but it is just the most stunning powder. Like, like I just put that on my hand that has no moisturizer or anything on it. Typically, if you do that with powder, it's going to settle in all those crevices, but this literally just smoothed out my hand. Like, look at the difference. It's incredible. So these shades, Absolute Accru Light, Accru Medium, and I think they have a dark. Those are gonna be more for all over setting your skin. And they have a couple that have like more of a shine to them. So I have the shade Absolute Accru Golden, which is like key undertone with a lot more shimmer in it. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. This powder I don't like to set my entire face with, but it is the most stunning lip from within highlight. I'm gonna rub it in so you guys can see. It will give your skin the most stunning glow. So I either like to apply a little bit of this on a small brush and apply it to the high points of my cheek. It melts right into the skin. It doesn't settle into any texture. The most beautiful highlight, especially if you have mature skin or a lot of texture on your skin, this is the highlight for you. It would also be pretty as an all over finishing powder if you set your face first with like a separate powder and then you just took a little bit of this with a fluffy brush and let me dusted it over all of your skin. It would give you the most beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know why I hadn't like discovered these and been obsessed with these sooner. I think it's because my skin has gotten so much drier since living in Connecticut. Rediscovering more of those like glowy products that I in the past would have you know, never really gravitated toward. On a more affordable note, this is a new discovery for me. It's the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is the best drugstore concealer that I've tried in a while. The last new drugstore concealer that I tried that I fell in love with was the ELF Hydrogen and Camel Concealer. And that was back in the beginning of 2020. So here we are two years later and I found a new Balm drugstore concealer. This melts right into your under eyes. It gives you good coverage without being cakey. It's a nice hydrating consistency, but it's not like a slimy, greasy, too shiny of a consistency to where it will enhance texture or not last throughout the day. It just goes onto the under eyes absolutely flawless. I will leave this on and let it sit for a second and then blend it out if I want it more full coverage. Then I can also just lightly do two dots underneath of my eye and blend it out with a brush if I want it just super natural and I'm not wearing any other makeup. This is an amazing concealer. I definitely want to get even more shades to keep in my makeup kit because I love that it comes with a pump so it's like super sanitary if you're a makeup artist. Seriously, the best drugstore concealer. And I got this from Amazon and it got to me within like literally a day. Then my next favorite concealer that I've been using for the past... I would say like two months is my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is just an all around beautiful concealer. It's a nice like satin hydrating concealer that's not gonna settle or make your under eyes look super dry. Grapey, just melts into the under eye. Gives insane coverage. Like a little bit of this goes such a long way. It wears really nice throughout the day. It doesn't like break up or look patchy. If you're looking for a phenomenal high-end concealer, I would definitely recommend the Too Faced Born This Way over I don't see any other concealer at the moment. All right, then this next product I kind of rediscovered within the last three weeks and have re-fallen in love with it. And it's my Chanel Les Beiges. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Bronzer. It looks like this. This is a beautiful bronzer. And let me tell you why I have been enjoying this so much. I don't think this is revolutionary if you are somebody that likes to wear like a full face of makeup and typically like to do the dramatic highlight contour. I mean, this still looks beautiful when you do that. But what I love most about this bronzer is that this is the kind of bronzer that will look flawless and undetectable on bare skin. I love to use this bronzer on those days where I just am doing a little under eye concealer and then I want something to warm up my skin but I don't want it to look like I have makeup on. I don't want it to look like I'm like full on contouring and all of that. This will give me the perfect amount of tint that melts into my skin to give it like that dimension 
while still looking very like I don't have any makeup on or looking just very fresh and natural. It melts into the skin so pretty and I like that it's like a cream to powder finish. So, so when I am using this, I can just use it on its own without having to set it with a powder. It's not gonna stay too shiny to where it'll get like lines or it will start to look patchy. It's just a beautiful product. Now I do know that this is very expensive. So another product that I have found to be very similar to it is, is my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This one's in the shade Honey Drip. They're honestly super similar in how they blend out. I think the only reason why I don't gravitate toward this one as much is because I typically just dip my brush straight into it and this one's a little small for me to dip my brush straight in, but this one it's really easy to just dunk my brush straight in there and apply it to my face. So I definitely recommend checking out the e.l.f. one if you don't feel like investing in the Chanel one. All right, this is another rediscovery for me and it is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I feel like lately I haven't been wearing foundations often. I'll typically opt for like a tinted moisturizer or like my e.l.f. camo cc but this foundation i've been loving because i can wear it and it doesn't feel foundation-y it just melts into the skin it looks like a second layer of skin while still offering amazing coverage you can build this up and get the most flawless full coverage finish or you can just do one pump of this and literally apply it with your fingers and it's gonna give you the most natural skin-like finish, still offering some coverage. I also like that when I use this, I don't have to set it with like an insane amount of powder. It kind of like sets itself while still leaving you with a nice like satin finish that's not too drying or too greasy looking. It's just an all around amazing foundation. If you're looking for an amazing long wear, full coverage foundation that's gonna be skin like and not too cakey looking and that will wear flawlessly all day definitely get this one you guys i have been obsessed with the new patrick tall full syringe plumping lip gloss it's in this beautiful cherry color but it obviously does not go on like super intense it just kind of shears out and gives your lips the most beautiful plump looking like you just got lip filler finish it's so good and i like this because it is a plumping lip gloss that isn't like too tingly to where it's like unbearable or not comfortable on the lips. This is one of my favorite glosses to just throw on my lips when I'm going to the gym and I have no other makeup on but I want something to make me look a little bit alive. It has that perfect amount of color to just add to vibrancy to your skin without being too much. Also you can get free shipping on the Patrick Tell website if you shop with my affiliate link down below. Again I only talk about products that I genuinely love and use but that's just a part of my affiliate link. It's free shipping regardless of the order amount. And this is a more affordable option if you don't want to spend the money on the Patrick Tell one. It's not a plumping gloss but it gives you like a similar finish of like that sheer wash of like a cherry color on the lip. And it is the Milani Fruit Fetish lip oil these are so stunning i know this is a lip oil but the feel of it feels just like the patrick ta one beside it not being like tingly or like lip plumping at all both of these are not sticky at all and they're just really comfortable to wear they give you that same wash of color just like so pretty and these smell amazing like i literally want to like eat this Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this one is in the strawberry melon scent, but then they also have like a cherry one. They have a bunch of different kinds. Definitely recommend checking them out and they're like $8. They're so affordable. Patrick Ta also launched like three new blushes and this one in the shade She's a Doll has been my favorite. If you know me, you know that I love these like cool tone bubblegum pinky blushes and i love this because it comes with that same like cool tone cream option and then you have the powder on the bottom love these it is so pigmented so you only need a pinch to give your cheek that super dull like flush they blend out beautifully they're not patchy they wear really nice throughout the day he knows what he's doing with his blushes they're all around great you guys i saved my most favorite product for last you guys this is hands down the best mascara Ever. The Milani Anti Gravity Mascara is amazing. I have it on right now. I didn't even use my lash primer like I normally use, and I still did not feel the need to go in with false lashes just because of how much length and drama this gives your lashes. The curves on it really hug your lashes really nice, and then you can kind of like tilt it sideways and use this little like front little ball portion to get like the inner and outer corner. It's one of those more plasticky ones, so it's gonna give you a ton of length, volume, and separation to the lash. It doesn't flake or anything throughout the day. I'm able to apply several coats of this without it getting clumpy. I was obsessed with the Lancome Idol mascara, and I was going to repurchase it. It's a $30 mascara, and then once I tried this, I literally did not feel a need to spend the $30 because of 
how insanely amazing this mascara is. Do yourself a favor, run out, try it. You will not regret it. It's the best. And then next up, I wanted to talk about my Makeup by Mario eyeliner in the shade Soft Brown. This is like the most gorgeous, rich red undertone brown. I love to put this in this like inner corner of my eye here, even when I'm not lighting my whole eye. And the undertone of it just really makes my like pitch black, not pitch black, but my super dark brown eyes pop. The color on it is beautiful, but then just in general, the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Eyeliners are the best, especially for lining this little inner part of the eye or if you're doing a wing because they don't run. They're going to stay in your waterline all day. They're not going to beat up. You're not going to get all like the gunk little things that pile up there. Once they set, they are not going anywhere. Literally the best eyeliners ever. And I also love that it comes with a little brush on the other end. So if I do want to apply it to my top lash line, I can like blend it out if I wanted to. It just makes it super convenient. I definitely recommend trying out his eyeliners if you're just looking for really good long wearing eye pencils that you're not going to have to touch up and that will stay put all day. But the shade Soft Brown has been my jam leak. And then this is so random, but again, I was cleaning out my makeup drawer, got rid of so much makeup. It was so liberating. But then with that, I was like, again, there was a couple products. I was like, let me just try. This is probably expired. It's at least two years old. <laughs> Had this little travel size of this Lancome Shimmer Mocha Havana blush. This came in like a gift with purchase. So as blush, this is not my jam. I like more pinky stuff, but this is the most gorgeous eye eyeshadow ever. This is like my go-to everyday eyeshadow look because it has a really subtle sheen to it that like when the sun hits your eye or when the light hits it, you'll pick up that twinkle without it being a straight up shimmer. What I like to do is apply it with like a small fluff brush and like pack it on with the flat part of the brush first and that will intensify the sheen and then I'll just take the pointy part of the brush and blend it up into my crease and that will kind of make it look more matte like and make it look like you have two different eyeshadows on. The perfect everyday eyeshadow shade if you like just want something to make it look like you tried and not try at all. I feel like this is so pretty on my brown eyes too because it's like I don't know, just the undertone is really pretty. That's been my go-to everyday eye look lately. This Shimmer Mocha Havana Blush on my eyes with the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Soft Brown Eyeliner. Together, they are just absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, I finished off the eye look with my Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara. And all right, you guys, that wraps it up for my favorites. Let me know what some of you guys' makeup, home, or just any kind of favorites are down below. I love to, like, try different products that you guys like and recommend. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified every Wednesday and Friday when I upload. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I pray that you all stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!